So here's a question for you I've had in my little brain. Just because it's a god or goddess, does it do they deserve prayers and offerings? So there are certain deities that play a role in life, in the universe, in everyday things, but necessarily does it mean that they should be, or that we should actively honor them and give them offerings? In my personal opinion, not every deity is one that particularly has to have or wants offering from a person that they are a deity because they are immortal and they do play a central role in life in certain things in the universe but sometimes the role they play may not be a positive thing um, ones that come to mind are Oises who is the goddess of depression and you got Momos the god of blame I'm sure there's someone out there that would want to honor them and pray to them but then again, what I see more than anything is people maybe wanting to pray to them to ease blame or depression, but that's kind of um, asking them to stop doing what they are literally here to do. So are there gods and goddesses that people necessarily shouldn't, it's a kind of a bad way to say it, but shouldn't be given offerings to? just because they are deities sometimes i know people that they feel like they need to give an offering to every god or goddess they ever discover because they are a god or goddess i don't know if that's necessarily true and again i don't know i can see it that you'd want to pray to a certain god that you find out is the god or goddess of something you're trying to um, drop or get rid of or have less of but to do that, it would be like asking the light to stop shining. It's that kind of thing, you know. There's some things you can pray for, like you can pray to Helios to please make the sun go away, and that doesn't mean it's going to happen, or to move the sun away from the Earth's gravity. You know, out of the whole solar system, Helios, please let the sun just go to some other galaxy, not ours. And you can pray for certain things, and it won't happen even though they are over that so like i said just because think uh, there are certain deities over certain things i don't know if we should always honor them we can respect them i should say we should respect them but not every god or goddess has to have an offering um from us so there you go guys so that's a noodle scratcher for you i know we're used to always praying to deities and honoring and worshiping the gods and goddesses but sometimes there are gods and goddesses that even in myth they don't want worship um i don't like to mention which ones because some some people do have relationship with ones that in classic myth didn't want offerings and rituals and stuff so it goes to show that sometimes People can have relationships with non-traditional gods and goddesses. So just because I said, in my opinion, that certain gods and goddesses don't necessarily have offerings and rituals, some people find that, and then they do anyway. And it works for them. So that's just my opinion. And like I said, it's a new little scratcher. You hear a deity, and you think that the god or goddess, because they're deity, they deserve... Well, it's not deserves not even the word. But we should give them offerings and rituals. Anyway, guys, it's a little of a hot topic debate kind of idea. And I hope you guys have a good day. Something to think of on coming into this new year. Bye.